Welcome to this FMH tip of the day. I'm Jonathan Fry, Support Pro Service Manager for FMH Conveyors. Today we will be discussing power supply boards on our power flexible units. Let's okay. start with an overview of the unit. As you can see on this slide, the top section of the conveyor is the end feed end with our product flow from left to right. The power supply enclosure is located at the end feed end of the unit. This enclosure houses your power supply board and the DC motor control board. Also, this enclosure is where the serial number for this unit is located. The serial number will be on a blue and silver tag and located on the outside of this enclosure. The serial number will be required for any phone support that is requested. First, make sure the power is disconnected from the unit before performing any work. This next slide explains all the input and output connections for this board. Your main input power comes into this board and is then transformed and distributed out to your controls and motors. There are several lights on this board that will allow you to visibly see the state of the board. The red light is illuminated when a stop signal is being received. This could come from a stop button or a photo eye package stop if equipped. If this light is on, check to see if all e-stop buttons are reset and make sure the photo eye package stop is clear. The F1 fuse, or 2 amp fuse, controls the control circuit and will need to verify that this fuse is not blown. A green light is illuminated when incoming power is present to the board. This confirms that you have power required coming into the board and power is being supplied to the DC motor control through relay 1. If this light is not on, check the incoming power and or F2, the 15 amp fuse, to make sure it isn't blown. An amber light is illuminated when the board receives an accumulated full signal in shipping mode, or the photo eye over the power box is blocked in receiving mode. There are three fuses on the power supply board. Let's review each of their functions. The 15 amp fuse controls the AC input output to the DC motor controller. If this fuse is blown, the current draw is too high going to the DC motor controller. This could be caused by a bad motor or dirty brushes and one or more of the motors. The 2 amp fuse controls the DC voltage output to the power supply. This is used to control items as, such as accumulation photo eyes and your stop circuit. If this fuse is blown, there could be a short in the communication cable or a short in the photo eye cable. Check for any wear or damage to these wires. The three quarter amp fuse controls the transformer or AC side of the power supply. If this fuse is blown, there could be trash on the power supply board causing a dead short or motor voltage feedback to the power supply board. Once troubleshooting work is complete, make sure power is connected back to the unit Hopefully these few suggestions will allow you to quickly troubleshoot the status of your power supply board to determine what corrective action needs to take place to get your conveyor back in service. As always, you can contact FMH Service at 1-844-364-7378 to speak with one of our factory trained service technicians.